Hello, I'm Jean-François Montreuil, Chief Geologist for McDonald Mine Exploration. And today we will be exploring new concepts and ideas we have for our 2020-2021 exploration programs. One of the major breakthroughs we have made on this project is on the geology side, where we have identified that strong folding in the sedimentary sequence is having a significant impact on the geometry of the zone of gold mineralization of the scattering deposit. At this location here, we are sitting on an exposure where we expose one of these folds in order to better constrain how these folds are, the geometry of these folds, in which context they are occurring, and what is the relationship between these folds and the circulation of fluids on the property. The fold is located here, and over the fold is the brittle formation, the very hard formation, where a lot of the fracturation is going to be preferentially partitioned and then where the fluids will be circulating and depositing metals and possibly gold as well. A lot of the folding is occurring at the contact between two formations. One is called the Espanola formation. The Espanola formation is a limestone. It is very soft. The other formation sitting over the Espanola is called a serpent formation, which is a hard quartzite. And what we have noticed is in addition to the folding the contact between the Espanola formation and the Serpent formation will be a location of preferential fracturation and brecciation of the rocks. And in the context of gold mineralization, this is important. An example that we have is the East-West pit, where gold is located at the contact between the Espanola and the Serpent formation, where most of the fragmentation happen in the Serpent formation. We will now be looking more closely at this contact, the distribution of chloride alteration associated with gold and the impact on mineralization on the scattering deposit. We are now standing at the eastern end of the east-west pit and we'll have a closer look at the effects of the Villeneuve structure on mineralization on the property. The Villeneuve structure, our work in 2020, has made us realize that it's located at the contact between the serpent formation and the Espanola limestone. We have seen earlier that this contact between the soft Espanola limestone and the hard serpent formation is a good place to preferentially partition deformation and fragmentation into the rocks. We can see here behind me the effects of that fragmentation where we have the green, the chloride, infiltrating the zone of fragmentation and then mineralizing these rocks with gold. This is a characteristic feature of mineralization on the scattering property. We also realize that if we follow this contact, the Espanola limestone, with the serpent formation, we can potentially discover new zone where gold is concentrated. And following that contact in 2019, led us to the discovery of the Villeneuve showing, which is located approximately 50 meters east of this location. The Villeneuve showing, comparable to here, is again located where we have the Espanola limestone contacting the serpent formation, and then chlorite with gold, is preferentially infiltrating that zone of contact and the brecciation and fragmentation of the serpent formation that is formed along that contact. We are standing at McDonald Core Storage Facility and now we're looking at the drilling intersection made at the contact between the serpent formation, which is a very hard unit, and the Espanola limestone, which is a very soft unit. What is happening when we drill at this contact and we intersect this contact is we see a significant amount of breaking into the rocks. Because the Espanola is a stuff unit and the Serpent is a hard unit, when the deformation pushes on that rock, it creates a lot of cracks and a lot of fractures. And in these fractures, the fluids that are carrying the metals and potentially gold, when they circulate along that, they can deposit these metals uh, and then form zones of mineralization, which can have an interesting width because this breakage happens on a large amplitude when we are at these zones of strong rheological contact. We will now take a closer look at the impact 
of that fragmentation and that deformation in the serpent formation. And what we see is that when the deformation is overprinting the serpent formation, it creates a significant amount of fractures. And each of these fractures is going to be infilled by alteration mineral. In the case of our system, the alteration minerals that are interesting are the chlorite, which is a dark green phases in here, the iron sulfide, which is pyrite, and also in certain occasion, an additional sulfide is going to be present, which is a copper sulfide, calcopyrite, which will also infiltrate itself in this zone of fragmentation and mineralize the rock uh, variably. This updated geological understanding of the importance of the Serpent Espanola contact is providing us a much better framework to interpret the results of our geophysical survey and identify new targets outside the known footprints of the scanning deposit where comparable mineralization could be discovered in zone of breccia and also in the hinges of folds that can be expanding considerably the size of the deposit.